bigger can, and better. And can we more. show them baby girl's new thing? Oh, wait, you want to reveal baby bird's brand new dream house? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Baby bird's bird house. breaking out in allergies again and we decided to switch his diet so we're no longer doing the full raw meat diet right now we are going to be focusing more on the v dog recipes which means like vegetarian dog pescatarian dog so I was reading online if you mix some baking soda with water and kind of make a paste Franklin has really itchy boo-boos on his belly and um, we're gonna put some baking soda on his body so yeah, we have a bunch of fresh stuff. Here's a grocery haul, what we get. We literally look like the healthiest people at the store. And little do they know, this is mostly for my dogs. All right guys, I'm gonna go say hi to the horses and give them some carrots. See what they're doing. All right, let's go see what they're doing. They are inside today. Hey girl, what are you doing? Carrots? Yep, she loves carrots. Oh, she loves carrots so much. We bought flight. You like carrots? Break it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What a big boy. There's that baby boy and Guppy. Guppy, let's see some tricks. Sit, 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 wave. Oh, good boy, Guppy. Good boy, Guppy. Frank, look at Frank. I have Elsie's dad all over the place. Did you see this? Yeah. I told you not to put me on here because he, when I'm famous, I don't want to show people this. He really... <laughs> don't look at me right now, it's serious. He actually enjoyed getting the baking soda on him. I'm sure he did. You know what time it is. The season is coming. Ooh. Because this candle smells so good like pumpkin spice. Spooky season. Look it. She's Halloween already birdies. started. Halloween birdies coming out to say what's up. Check out so far, guys. Where are you going? I have to feed my secret pet that I have not revealed yet. Be right back. What? Can reveal? We're gonna go chase it. Let's see what she is. Oh, no, what no. is it? What is it? What is it? You can't. I'm coming in. What is it? What is it? Come I'm in. coming in. No. What is it? Show them. Can't. We're late. All right guys, so just a little check-in. We've got three pots going. Babe, next house, commercial kitchen. All stainless steel, plenty of countertops, large mixing bowls, maybe we'll get a commercial mixer. We're making our own dog food up in here, all right? We're feeding <laughs> our babies and they love it. Literally. Not just dogs though. Birds. Okay. Birds, <laughs> horses, cows occasionally. Welcome to Nicole and Jay's kitchen. This is week two going on with the veggie dog diet. I definitely definitely have to say I've seen improvements. Jelly first was a little bit iffy on what she liked, what she didn't. Then yeah. we, we got over it, definitely the carrot. Jelly likes junk food, she doesn't really like healthy food. Guppy was a big hit right away. Franklin, oh please, 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 I'm famous. Can we just take a look at this? This is a piece of an apple. Oh, so no. foam. This is a piece of an apple. Will Guppy eat it? Yay! Franklin, yay! Jelly, whoa! Just her eating an apple is a huge step in the right direction. She would normally put it in her mouth and spit it out and say, ew. <laughs> All right guys, so just check it in now again. Check it out. Woo! -hoo! We need to buy more containers and buckets. This is a horse bucket, it's BPA free, it's heavy duty bucket. I would love to get some large stainless steel ones in the future. Um, 
but for right now this definitely works. Now, we haven't perfected our recipe yet. We're still in the process of figuring out what we like, what we don't like, what works for our dogs. So this is not a tutorial on how to make it, but I mean, it's looking pretty good if you ask me. And this time we have a lot. Like literally we still have some beans. We still have half a pot of long stem rice. We have quinoa, flaxseed, hemp seed, kale, uh, apple cider vinegar. Don't tell them the secret recipe. Well, there's a lot, there's a lot more stuff. It's very, um, full of nutrition and then on top of that we sprinkle dog supplements on there too just to make sure they're getting every type of nutrients that they need and they're not going to be deficient in any category. And now the blueberries, here we go, ready? All right guys, we are not finished. We have beans still cooking. The beans will be added in later but this is how much food we made. Last week we made like, uh, I think like 12, ba like 12 bags of those, that bag that you see right there. It lasted pretty long, but it didn't last that long. It probably gave us about a week. So I'm, I'm hoping this will give us about two weeks, three weeks. We had to literally go run to a store, grab more containers that are BPA free. All right, you wanna lick the bucket? Clean off your, your dog food bucket? Yeah, thanks mom. Oh, thank you. So I did give Guppy a little haircut and he's a lot happier now. He looks like a Muppet. He looks like a Muppet puppet. Oh, uh, I can't freaking get in there because my neck is too short. Are you serious? I'm so hungry right now. Why do you make all that food in your seriously? You're gonna let that, that Muppet over there eat all that food? That Muppet's gonna eat out of that bucket? Wow, mom. Nubo, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Wow, the dog who loves junk food actually likes RV dog food. Look at her, she's in the bucket. <laughs> They're trying to get the food. They're like, ooh, yummy. Hello? Hello, who's in there? Jelly, it's Amazon. You wanna bring in the package? All right, so guys, now we're gonna do a Q&A with Nicole. And I'm gonna ask her the questions and she's gonna answer them. Ready? Yeah, ready. All right, favorite animal? Everyone. Oh, that's not, I said favorite animal, I not love, animal. I love all the animals in the world. What's your next future pet? Probably a friend for baby girl. What's your favorite and least favorite things to do on the farm? My favorite thing to do on the farm is to see the beauty and see all my animals happy. My least favorite thing to do is muck the stalls when it's really hot outside in Florida and I'm dying from humidity and my back's sweating and I have to rub my back against the corner of a wall like this just to scrape off the back sweat. Okay, have you ever seen any animals get castrated? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was terrifying. What's your future plans for the ranch? The future plans for the ranch. Well, we have some big news coming up. It's gonna take some time to develop the news and establish a lot of things, but we feel like we already have outgrown this house. We're on 10 acres here and we want more acres, more land, and uh, we also, have restrictions on our land where we live. I'm not allowed to get goats or pigs, so I can't rescue. So we want to rescue more animals and expand our reach. And I think that we will be moving on from this property to something bigger and better. Super That's exciting. exciting. That's it's really exciting, exciting, guys. This is super exciting because it's something that we've always wanted to do. And this was like our first trial to see how we could get our feet wet first and see how much, how hard it is to work on a farm and how hard it is to have everything. But it's been super easy. It's been super enjoyable. So now we're gonna be expanding bigger, rescuing bigger things. Bigger should, and better. And should we more. show them Baby Girl's new thing? Oh, wait, you wanna reveal Baby Bird's brand new dream house? All right, the moment you guys been waiting for. How long does this take to build this dream house four before hours, we go in? Maybe four hours. <laughs> like we had to drive an hour plus to the bird store and to And how buy. long did that take to undo it, to unbuild it? We had well, to take it apart, how long did that take? The people that work there did not want to cooperate at all and they didn't even want to disassemble it. They're like, no, you do it. And Jay's like, unless you're giving me a deal and I'm not paying full price, I'm not I'm not gonna disassemble it myself. It was it was freaking like ninety-eight degrees humidity in, in this little warehouse. That's open in Florida August <laughs> heat. It was ridiculous. But I gotta say right now is August is beautiful right now. In the evening it's nice. Alright, let's show them. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Baby birds bird house! Wow!
All right, guys, so as you can see, this thing is, was it 13 by five? This thing was so easy to assemble. I can tell you that. The only hard part, show them what was hard. The, assume the position. Oh my gosh. Who was hard? Who was the burner? Holding these up here was very difficult. <laughs> I saw my, I mean, my shoulders. Look at how ripped they are. Damn. All right, guys, so you guys can't really see. She is tiny compared to this cage. Nicole, we could probably fit like 14 Nicoles in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is her new house. We had to kind of change some things because we're changing some things over here, making it more human space again. She used to have all this, she used to have all this place to roam, which was fine. Wait, what's, what's missing from the picture? <laughs> what? Baby Bird used to love her fans. She would spin around on her fans constantly. Well, one day we noticed that she picked out a screw and there was a potential hazard of her dropping the fan. Like the fan could have fallen on her. So See how mad she is? She we, said you put it back. Yeah, she wants her fans back. I'm sorry, baby girl. But I know. Dad made you a kind of makeshift. I gotta add bearings to it so it was spin, but she doesn't like that. It's like very topsy turvy. Good. Try it out, baby girl. Try it out. Wow. Wow. She would do this for hours. I know you guys have definitely seen our Instagram. If you don't follow us, that's Guy's family on Instagram. She does tricks. She hangs, she hangs and dangles from up here too. So this is her bird. No. This is her bird no. ladder right here. She loves this bird ladder. As you can see, we have some bites already in here. We have bite, bite, bite up here, bite, bite. Birds love to whittle wood. I'm not sure what she's trying to say. Hey, right baby now. girl. She absolutely hates this swing with a passion. I'm gonna have to remove it. I'm gonna have to remove it out of here because she hates it so much. She doesn't understand that she can sit on it and swing. In fact, I have a video coming out on Sky's ah, Pets. Baby Girl says ah, go, watch, go watch it. So, I have a new video coming out on Sky's Pets, my other YouTube ah, channel that's just for my pets, and uh, ah, it's her attacking this ah, because she hates it so much. I've never seen a more angry or parrot in my life. And we were, at, we were at the pet store the other day, guys. We were looking at just a bunch of pets. Sometimes we go into a pet store just to go browse. We had to get some stuff. Nicole's like, he, she's gonna love this. She brought it home. All you heard is this. And she was striking it and trying to bite it. She used it and it would bounce back at her so it would make her even more mad. It was so funny. Sorry, baby bird. I'm so it was funny. I'm sorry. So with this cage being so big, I think that we have enough room for a second parrot. Baby girl says so. She loves to climb. I honestly I honestly thought she was going to be a little bit upset getting her in this cage, and she actually likes it so much more than just having her the whole patio to climb. So this is what she does, guys. She loves climbing. Even though she's full flighted, she likes to climb. All right, guys, so we didn't get to show you this, but we built this tree. Just identified this tree right here, which is in my backyard. Check out the leaves. This is a red maple tree and maple, as long as all the bark is wiped off and it's bleached and clean, is safe for birds. So here is Baby Bird's new perch. Check it out. I know it looks great. I know it's gonna have all the branches, everything. It's gonna be huge. No, but really, I like it. I like it a lot. I like the width here. I mean, I do have a macaw. I'm gonna have to go get a saw and saw it up. Here is her perch. This little saw right here cuts things so well. Got it at Walmart, it's amazing. And then check it out, we have some sort of flat worm. There is stuff moving all over this thing. What the frick is that? Got a long way to go here. I'm dragging it. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. 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 And that was my workout. Now I gotta go get my saw. I feel like a little ant that found something they like and they're just like disassembling it and bringing it to their house. I mean, essentially, that's what I'm doing. I'm disassembling the branch and I'm bringing it over to my house for baby bird. 
It's a good workout though, it feels good. I like to work out while I'm being productive and not just running on an endless winding board of running tape. Whatever the frick is on a treadmill. What is, what's on a treadmill? Here's what we have disassembled so far. Pass that. Good thing about having a, a, a jungle in your backyard. I guess huck wood in it. It's great. Okay, if I need to come back, make more stands, I know where I'm coming. Thank you for dropping this for me at the perfect time. Now we gotta pick up my badass saw. This thing is awesome. But I didn't wear headphones, safety hat, safety goggles. I got boots on, but I don't have any gloves on. I did, I did most of it wrong. Literally check my P.O. box and oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. We have a bunch of stuff. I haven't opened anything yet. I'm gonna have to blur this out because I don't have uh, the sender's addresses. But I do have a P.O. box now, so if you guys want to send me anything, the address will be in the description down below. So I have this right here. This thing is called a side strike chisel and I bought this, oops. I bought this to help take off the bark from this large branch. I wonder how easy it's gonna be. Oh my God, that's actually pretty easy and very relaxing. Pickle's like, what the, is this a big stick for me? I knew it, mom. I knew you were gonna do that. Ooh, look at how satisfying. It's not even that hard. Wow, her perch is gonna look so good. Look at that, it's like, this is sharp, buddy. You gotta move away. Start carving all the bark off, and soon baby girl's gonna have a new perch. You think that's a good idea? Yes, I think that's the greatest idea, mom. I don't even know how you have such a good idea like that. So far, I have this much done. I've been at it for maybe like 10 minutes. We have a decent amount done pretty much around the base. Then we have some areas like this that still have the bark on them. It's not hard, but you have to be careful because this is really sharp and it definitely could cut your skin open if you're not careful. It's also pretty hot out here in Florida. Could be way worse, has been way worse. I definitely have a lot of sweat on me. Do you see that glow? Beautiful. I have sweat or see right there, it's dripping into my mouth. Right here. Oh my God, we got a lot of sweat. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna cool down a little bit. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna wipe off the sweat off my face. Look at that. Jeez, jeez. This is literally every day. Every day you sweat this much. That's just the way it is in Florida. If you are active outside and me, I love to be active outside, so. So here we have the base and it rolls as you can see so that's poplar wood and then the center is you have to make sure that the wood is bird safe and definitely don't use any cedar or anything like that so poplar is safe and poplar also looks really pretty I really like that coloration we need to figure out how to secure this base we have really long screws right here you can see those Officially finished it. Oh my gosh. I am so proud of us. I think it looks so awesome. Are you guys ready to see it? Oh my god Baby bird is going to love this now We've built a lot of things in the past and this has to be one of my favorite things that we've built because I used red maple The wood is more red. So all this white wood will dry to red But check that out She's gonna love it. It's so tall, it's like seven foot. These in the store are literally like $600, $700. And we just made this for probably like 15, maybe 20 bucks. This was like 20 bucks at the bottom stand. Maybe like 30 bucks, 30 bucks. We spent 30 bucks, used our own tree. Baby bird, we're coming with your new stand. It's baby bird's birthday. All right, baby bird, what you're on right now, it looks decrepit, basically. What do you think? What do you think? 
Look at that! Wow! Do you want to go try it out? She's a little scared of it. Good job! She's like, no! So tomorrow we're getting Baby Bird her very own special dream house, which we're really excited about. Come! Wow! All right, check it out. Check it out. There we go. Look at you. You look good. Yeah. Good job. Wow. So we built this perch for her. We had to cut it down because at first it was like eight feet. Now it's like six feet. But we found this out in the woods. We whittled it down, sanded it. It's bird safe wood. And um, she loves it. I would say she loves it. How, what do you think? It's her favorite thing that we have. Wow, yeah. All right, Skies family, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Wow. Kisses. High five. Ah. High five. Good job! As you can see, we have to do a whole makeover on our patio now. We, I don't even want to see, show you the floors. They're disgusting. Yeah, the floors will be redone. The ceiling fans will be new. We're doing a whole remodel in here, so you guys will see it. We'll fix it up. And I, it just works out the best because she loves her spa as well, right? You do. Yeah, okay. She All said, right, baby, girl. baby Bird just said, make sure you have the notifications on. That way you never miss another video like this one. All right, guys. Tell everybody to go, wow, good job, bye. <laughs>